such a good feeling. I have such a good feeling from working with this group of people. And it's one of those very few places I've ever been to in my whole life where I actually feel at home. Feeling at home with the people, home with the environment. Just very nurtured and very well looked after by everyone. So that's an abiding feeling that I have with me as I look at this footage a little while later. Very, very grateful to everybody. That's a Bavarian flag you can see there. And that's a place we were going to go to eat, but it was uh, closed. So we went to this other place instead and had a wonderful meal. And that's just to remind you of the temperatures in the summer. Lovely. And welcome to Miriam's restaurant. This is where we're going to be eating tonight. This will be the last meal I share with people before I go tomorrow. Breakfast in Garmisch. Something simple and very lovely. So I'm going to come inside now and this is where we're going to be eating tonight. So this restaurant is called Vaughn. You'll notice the decor is most unusual. And this is Miriam. Hello Hi, there Miriam. Nice Thank you very much for allowing me to have a little show for people around the restaurant. You're welcome. And also, please, a big thank you for Lawrence for such amazing food. Thank you. And we will see you tonight for our meal. <laughs> the kind of food, uh, you say organic? Yeah, it's organic. It's not 100% organic, but it is organic. Some part of them we, we grow up in our own garden, for example. Oh, really? We have some really good partners we are working with here around the area. Yes. So most of the things are coming from here. And seasonal as well, you said. And it's very seasonal. Good. It's in modern art. So not this typical Bavarian food, but local and modern. Local and modern. Yeah. Thank you. No, that's a bit of artwork. Taste your work. So the solar panels on that house, the other side of this road, are actually solar water heating panels. Generally speaking, there are a lot of solar panels and the like. In fact, if I move over here, yeah, you can see one on that house there, so there's a lot of this alternative use of sun energy here. So I'm having my little walk to Parton Kitchen. More solar water heating panels in that house there. And look, our old friend Little, the one and only time I've found it so far in my trip. Above me is a railway line, this is probably the only place I've been which has been really noisy the whole time I've been here. So I've just found the station, this is very strong terracotta shade, and there's becoming a little tradition about these films which is at some point we always need to find ourselves at the station, because let's face it, the station is a wonderful metaphor for the journey, for travelling, for embracing new experiences, for opening up for the wonders of the universe in general. And so, ah, okay, that tells us that is the direction of München, which is what we call Munich. And I'm gonna leave the guess. My guess is it'll probably take us to Austria that way, but I don't really know. One is going to the Tyrol in Austria. And this one is going to Innsbruck. So actually they're both going to Austria. Good thing I could be you one day. Might even be me one day, you never know. Off the Tyrol in Austria. Never been there myself. And that's the one going the opposite direction to uh, München, what we would call Munich. And that's a big one. No doubt about it. And he's off to roll. My love session gratified. So this is the more proper way out. And this is what a busy 
modern station looks like here. You've got the automatic machines to get the tickets, photos, postcards, and what looks like an infinitely more attractive gastronomic experience than you would find in any English station, frankly. There you go. So unlike in America where you might be lucky to get one or two trains a day, it looks like they have pretty good service out here. And that really validates my hypothesis. You can see there are a lot of trains leaving this place on a daily basis. Yeah, that just really proves my obsession. There's the outside of the station. Well, overall lack of sleep, coupled with overheating in my head from the sun. I'm going to do what this dude's been doing. I'm going to give him head a good old splash off in here. So my question to myself is, I wonder if this is the same river as the one in Garmisch, or is it a completely different one? I've absolutely no idea, but you can see it is just unbelievably clean and clear again, which seems to be the rule around here. This is the Bavarian flag outside what is probably called the Biergarten, judging by the barrel I expect it probably is. So you don't see German flags, so you see Bavarian flags. One of the perennial problems about being well hydrated is the need to find a toilet. So let me just introduce you to the European custom outside of Britain. Yes, you pay, that's right. Which is incredibly inconvenient because then you have to have exactly the right coin. I think it's there, so um, it's my lucky day, I've got a 50 cent coin, so it should work. Alles is good. Hallelujah, it worked. Okay, well, that's fairly obvious what that's about. Yeah, not many people take you to these parts of uh, life, but let's have a look. Yeah, this is your European Bavarian toilet facility. Looks pretty normal really, isn't it? Nothing special. It's not like the Americans, which are kind of pretty strange to us Europeans. Well, I was walking along here and I saw this office. I thought, interesting. Now, I don't know what that means. Yet. This is what caught my eye though. How about that? Yeah, it's an electric mini. Apparently. Yeah. Maybe electric cars here. And this is the local equivalent of the Atkinson Observer. How about that? Dachblatt means the daily news. And that's today's front page story. No idea what that's about. This one, well, we've already picked that up, haven't we? Yeah, that's a story about the electric car we were looking at a few moments ago. Well, this must be one of the prettiest chemists you'll see anywhere. Of the artwork detailing on the edge there, they've even actually painted in the shadow on that vertical decorated strip. I do think that one of my definitions of paradise is to be somewhere where it's hot enough to feel that it would be a really nice idea to get into the shade and be around some beautiful plants. Well, what is my next thing to do? I've just been in this florist's. As everyone knows, shamans love the plants and the spirits of plants. So I've had the great pleasure of buying flowers for the people on the training. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bis heute Janin. Hi Sis. Mami, wo bist du? Komm. Oh, mein Herz und Heart. Oh. Really, das surprises me. Thank you so much indeed. My, My goodness, is was this what you had to pick up? Mm -hmm. Yes, and some more. Yes. 
In the seat, I know it very, I can appreciate a lot. Oh. Ah. Oh. And a heart, like a heart. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> I think one's not for you. These are ones for me. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So oh, my gosh. Oh, that's such a lovely place. Like, oh, no, no, no. Mm. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you, Keith. Thank you. Wow, what beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Why? You are a living spirit of the nature. <laughs> <laughs> she knows what to say, thank you so kindly. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. So now I have Fisa for your mother. Oh, you. Rose, Rose. Thank you. Yes. And roses, yes. Ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. So that's the oxygen water device. Yeah, I, 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 and I, I, can I, I, we just got you look at it? This is the that's what it looks like. healing it's, water. You can see how it's oxygen. Yeah, you can see the difference. Oxygen. Oxygen. That's it. That's what we say, yeah. Thank and you. say in English? Oxygen. 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 Yeah. Oxygen. Okay. Oxygen. Prost. 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 <laughs> It's before dawn, and this is the day that I leave to travel back to England. And what I want to do is to share with you some of the insights I've received in the last 24 hours, mostly from listening to people who live here, and particularly from one of them, Patrizia. So this is what I want to say. The energy here is extraordinary. It is very high. And I mean that in all senses of the word, I guess, because what we are is we are on a, a little flat piece of land surrounded by very high mountains. So this is a pretty extraordinary physical environment and it has a really big effect on people who live here. And if the person finds the whole spiritual component in their life quite difficult, then what they're likely to do is they're likely to feel the need to ground themselves very strongly with particular kinds of food, very heavy food. Um, the very famous German sausage, for example. And then the way the food is cooked with lots of fat, that kind of thing. The other thing that they might quite likely do is they might find that they need to consume a really fair amount of alcohol regularly. And from the shamanic perspective, we see alcohol as something that shuts us off. And so when I walk around here, I frequently see people, and I'll be frank, because actually they're always male. Interesting, just realising that. And you see them sitting around with their bottles of beer, or walking around with their bottles of beer, in little groups on their own. And it's so interesting to realise that such people would be judged in certain countries like England, people think, oh look, they're alcoholics. And that is not how such people are seen here. It's seen as a completely acceptable lifestyle choice. Um, it relates to tradition, so one way to deal with a place with a very high spiritual energy is to shut yourself down spiritually and so you stay very immersed in the material realms. Certainly a perfectly acceptable lifestyle choice particularly if what you need to do is to be very physically engaged with this third dimensional reality. Now what's happening on the earth overall is that people who are more open to exploring their spiritual dimensions are being attracted to certain places. 
This place is acting on people like a magnet, and I'm just one of many who feels magnetized towards being here. So if you're a person who's interested in spiritual matters, it's very likely you may feel drawn to move if the area you're living in is not conducive with it is what it is you want to do. So I feel such a strong pull to be here. And I think, as I've made clear in the films, one of the things that makes this place so extraordinary to me is the purity, um, the clarity, the pristine nature of the air, the water, the environment, that is just such a delight. So it's so easy to keep yourself clean here if that's the way that you want to live. And the quality of water in terms of the Ibe Sea, which is just so clear in terms of the rivers, which when the thunderstorm has passed and a couple of days have been allowed for everything to settle down are also so clear. So I literally have a glass like this in the kitchen full of water and you could not see even a speck or a trace of sediment or anything in that water which is completely clear. So this is obviously very, very useful if you're engaged in shamanic work or anything like this. So this brings me to why I am sitting in front of the camera before dawn because it was explained to me by Patricia that the simplest thing to do is to realise that when you wake up in the early hours of the morning here there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing so and there's nothing wrong with you it's not that you can't sleep, it's not this, that and the other it's one of the most powerful times and this is something that some people learn and some people that I know very well what they choose to do is they choose to be up at this time of day on a regular basis wherever they live in the world. But this is the kind of place that even if you don't want to live like that, you want to live a more orthodox lifestyle and go to bed in the evening and wake up in the morning, you find yourself up in the night. So this is my message. It's the most powerful time for any kind of spiritual practice or work because, yes, everybody else is fast asleep. This has a really big effect upon your consciousness because you are not cluttered up with the busy, busy minds of other people because all those minds are quiescent, they're in their dream states, they are doing their multidimensional travelling, which is what we all do when we go to sleep at night in the dream. It's what the dream life is about, is travelling through the different realms of existence. So everyone else is off doing their different realms of existence travel and it's an opportunity for you to be able to think and feel and sense a lot more clearly. So it's a great time for doing any kind of spiritually based work. So this is why I felt called to be up at this time to do this film. So the combination of the very high energy from the physical geological environment with the way the mountains are arranged, coupled with the highly energised water, and just to make it really clear, you turn on a tap in this part of the world, there's no chlorine, there isn't any pollution which I can detect with my shamanic senses when I drink the water. It tastes great. The only difference to me is I would still rather go to somewhere like the Ibe Sea or somewhere where there is a spring just because of the quality of the energy is even more amazing when it's coming straight from nature. When the water's gone through pipes, it feels that it's not quite so lively for me, so I still have that preference. However, I've never drunk so much water out of the tap in many years, because it's completely okay to do so. So it's around about just gone 6am now. In fact, it's lightened up so fast that just a few minutes ago I was slightly surprised to discover the camera wasn't operating. And it was so much darker than this. And the street lights were still on. They've gone up in the last few moments. Gosh. Time seems to be flying at the moment. So, yeah, today's the day I come back. Back to England. So, while I've been staying here, Patricia has offered me this most unusual device. So, this is something which she uses to charge her own water and what we have in here is a container and there are crystals in the bottom which is pretty easy to see 
and the crystals in the top are diamonds. There they are. So what these do, the diamonds at the top in the tiny little vessel and the crystals below, down there, they all charge the water up. So, I mean, everything is so charged up already, but we get even more charging and cleansing with this device. So this has been used for the whole training, and I thought I would show that to you. So I'm going to discover the new house where Patricia is going to be living. It will be finished in November, so we're going to see how far it is along at the moment. And I have a feeling it's going to be in a very beautiful location. Patricia asked me if I would assist her by doing a blessing and a cleansing ceremony for her new home. So I ended up being taken the most interesting route out of Garmisch and Partenkirchen and to the foothills of the Alps, which is where her dwelling is at several floors and the entire place is heated by geothermal energy. So here in front we have this um, jumping um, on the 1st of January we have the international ski jumping. Ski jump? Yes. Okay. And around 40,000 to 50,000 people are coming to watch it. Really? And it's um, in the in the TV of course to see. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. very famous. Yeah. But you can see it from my house better than from here. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> We have Neto in England as well. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. And little. But we do not have Norma, or we do not have Tengerman. Uh, I think Norma is so great with all the bio um, products they offer. and Oh, sell. it is, yes. Yeah, and it's really reasonable. Yeah, they're good prices, I noticed yes. that. So, now if we go in the street, the old street. Yeah. <laughs> How many, how, how many thousand square meters equals one hectare? Um, um, ten thousand. So this is exactly one hectare? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. My friend in England with the octagon, he's exactly one hectare as well. Wow. Yeah. So I can so really understand that. Yeah. Now the area that I... This is, a, this is the area? Yeah. Okay. We call it Leitenfeld. Leitenfeld. So we have like in Garmisch we have Leitling, which is very requested and really wonderful to live. Yeah. It's close to the Richard Strauss villa. Yeah. Hose. And we have Leitenfeld and this is in part of here. The difference is that from here you have this, you will see it now, the gorgeous mountain view. Yes. And much more sun. Ah, uh, you get a good sun throughout oh, the day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes in the evening. 30 to 45 minutes longer, and in Garmisch this is a matter because of the mountains. Yes, yes. So you enjoy, of course, the evening sun yeah. a lot. So here we go. Up, 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 I think. So this will be ah, the right. ready project, three, three units. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, now... Let you out first. Right, you're probably wondering where am I? Yes, this is a really good question. This is Patricia's new home, it's being built. As you can see, it's being built. There's serious work going on here. And this is the view. We have already travelled up several floors, but at this point, this is the view. Just to give yeah. an approximate idea of what's going on here. Now, what's really exciting about these pipes is some of these pipes are actually to do with heating, which comes from the ground. So there's no oil being used here. You notice the bricks, they are special hollow bricks from clay. So 
so this is this rare thing. Yes, it's a building that is going to be heated entirely from the ground, from the earth. Well, that's quite mind-boggling, isn't it? But it is. And there are several floors. I even have lost track of how many floors there are. I don't know what it is, but I like it. So this is going to be the computer room. And this is going to be the kitchen. Just imagine, you wake up in the morning in your bed, and this is the view that you see. Now of course there's so much scaffolding here you can't see it completely yet, but of course you will be able to. Now just step out, be very, very carefully. And literally, this is the view. This is the view. I'm lost for words, I think. That's a, this is the balcony terrace area, of course. This is where they come in January to do the ski jumping, and you can imagine this dwelling is going to have the best view of that spectacular sport. Now, the heart of the house has been located. This is actually the spot, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a very simple ceremony from this place here to bless the house. Ah. So this floor is also the house. Ah, the light is on, yes. And this is also the house. Can I here the light einstecken? Here for the first, zum runterkommen. Now we prepare for the shock of the bright light. Wow. Ah. I have an idea. Well, here I am in the portal. We haven't been in one of these for years. We've just done a blessing ceremony for the house. And uh, time for us to go. Not much time before I need to leave now. Ludwigstrasse. Lud so this is Ludwigstrasse, Ludwigstrasse of yeah. the old part of Pattenkirchen. Old Pattenkirchen, yes. That's right, good. And we're supposed to go only slowly. Oh, slowly, yes, yes. Ah, it is for pedestrians, yes. So this is the typical Frauendorf of oh, Bavarian food. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> and they have also traditional music at the evening there. Oh, next time I will experience yes. this. Ah, Tengelmann. Tengelmann. And look at this. This is a very old church here we have. And 
look at, at those houses, the painting oh, and the yes, love, yes. and this is really the yeah, traditional part. There comes a really nice hotel as well. They have a wonderful Feng Shui garden outside. A Feng Shui garden, yeah. Yes. Oh. It's Hotel Post. For some reason, I don't know why, you might let me know. I have the feeling to bring you to the Florian's um, fountain. Okay. It's so this is the uh, very famous, um, it's called Florian. Is it the Florian one? No, this is St. Anton. St. Anton. St. Anton. Okay. Right. Here we have a very good Indian Taj Mahal restaurant. Oh, yeah, your father spoke about this restaurant. Yeah, yeah he said this is a very good one. And this is the Florian's fountain. Ah, okay. Restaurant have been advised to come to resist one. It's called Akram's, and the man is from Pakistan, so this is going to be something good, I'm sure. Right, this is a late afternoon lunch. This is Patricia's soup. This is my soup. say that this is a smoking friendly airport. The smoking facilities both outside and also inside beyond the customs point. The only airport I've ever discovered where this is the case. So those words on that last little statement really caught my imagination when I was in Munich airport queuing up to go through security as one does. So back in the jolly old UK. Wonderful. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. 